All right, this is the example on slide 56 of our chapter 15 PowerPoint. And here they're asking us to use what's called the activity series to determine if the following reactions are spontaneous, meaning that they occur without any outside source of energy. So I'm gonna go back for a second and look at slide 51 and I kind of have a brief summary of it written here. Um, so the activity series is basically um, a ranking of how reactive different metals are um, towards redox reactions. So in the activity series, the metals that lose electrons the most easily are at the top of the list, and the metals that don't lose electrons as easily are at the bottom, aka the most reactive metals are on top, least reactive are on the bottom because typically metals like to lose electrons they like to be oxidized so at the top of the list these metals are easily oxidized and at the bottom of the list those metals are most easily reduced or least easily oxidized um, so in our problem basically they want us to see um, how these rankings um, compare to one another. So um, I've already determined what's oxidized and reduced in these um, two equations written here because um, that's not the main focus of the problem. So in reaction A, zinc is oxidized and iron is reduced. So basically what we need to determine is zinc above iron in series, in the activity series. As if it is, this reaction will occur spontaneously without any outside help because zinc is more easily oxidized than iron. So let's go back to our activity series. Here's zinc and iron is right here. So that means in a reaction, zinc is going to be oxidized over iron. And in fact, that's what happens. Zinc is oxidized, iron is reduced. So, yes, this reaction is spontaneous, meaning it occurs without any outside help. It naturally occurs. For B, here it's showing iron being oxidized and hydrogen being reduced. So the question we need to ask here is, is um, Cu above H2 in series? So if we look, um, I'll erase the markings for zinc and iron. Copper, way down here at the bottom, and hydrogen, H2, is right above it but it is above it, and copper is below H2. So, therefore, H2 would be the thing that's oxidized um, naturally, not the copper. So, no, this reaction is non-spontaneous. It would not occur as written unless we pumped electricity into it. And that's how you determine that based on the activity series.